value is the lightness or darkness of a color. And today we're going to be playing around with that concept to make a spooky value tree painting. You are going to start by tracing a circle in the top corner of your paper. This will be the moon. And then you are going to use one color of your choice plus white to mix up a tint of that color, so a lighter version of that color. So I'm using purple, and to start, I want a very, very light value, a very light tint. So I'm using a lot of white and only a little bit of my hue, which was purple. The first thing that you're going to paint is you're gonna paint right around that circle. And for this part, you need to paint very carefully so you get that nice, perfect circle shape. Try to stick with the same value all the way around. And once you've made it around once, then you will mix up your next value, which will be a little bit darker, just a little bit. You'll keep going around and around in this circular motion until your entire page is full and it goes darker and darker and darker as you get further away from the moon. The moon part, that circle, we are going to keep that part blank. So don't paint white inside of that. The paper's already white. Once your background is done, you can rinse off your paintbrush and dry it off as best you can and come get black paint. For the black paint, we're going to be making a tree and you can make your tree whatever style you'd like if you want it to be um, curly, kind of like a Gustav Klimt inspired tree, or if you would like it to be straight and jagged with lots of branches, which is kind of what I'm doing. I start at the bottom and I make sure that my trunk is a little bit thicker and then my branches get thinner and thinner as I go up. Um, I do think it looks really nice if your tree um, overlaps over top of the moon. Try to be really delicate with your paintbrush especially when you're doing those smaller branches so that we get some thinner lines and some thicker lines. 